I haven't seen many videos about um, Nick's travelers on the on YouTube, and uh, so I got some, and I just kind of wanted to share uh, my experience so far with them. Bam! Right there. So 1964 Walnut, rough out, and smooth right here. 1964 Walnut. These things are awesome. I they're pretty much broken in. I just have to break in this piece right here and I'm done. These never were a problem whatsoever. I normally wear a 10 double E or triple E in Red Wings. Um, I have whites that are double E, they're 9.5 and the double E's probably a little too snug for me. So I ordered these in nine and a half F and they just fit so good. Um, the breakout process in the whites, and that's the only experience I've had with, with this type of uh, craftsmanship. Um, that was tough. That's thick leather, man. Um, it's stiff. I think the leathers between the 1964 and the Seidel, they're, I think they're about the same, seven, eight ounces, but this is just pliable. It's already ready to go. It's, it's, it's kind of trippy. Um, thinking that this is as tough as, as the whites. I chose to get a soft toe. And the reason for that is, well, A, I think it's more comfortable. That's kind of an assumption. It is more comfortable to me right now. Um, and then B, I haven't really seen any of the rough out uh, soft toes collapse. I've looked at a lot of boots, looked at a lot of videos like you guys. Um, probably just as many, which is hundreds. And um, I just haven't seen any problems with the soft toes. So, um so I'm good with that. So I guess more to come on that. Nick's made a mistake, um, but I'm happy they did. And I don't know what this piece is called right here. I don't, this little black rubber piece right here, right? Um, it was supposed to be yellow, but it came black. And I love it. I think it's great. I think they should do it on all of them. The contrast is is legit. So I do like the leather, uh, the leather um, laces. Um I removed them from my whites just because I thought I'd bang them up and I didn't really trust them. But I said, you know, I'm going to put it in this one. I'm not going to be working with these, you know, too hardcore. I'm just going to be mainly kicking it and um, just going through daily life with them, right? But here's the back. Right. Solid. I mean, it's everything that we expect, right? Good craftsmanship. Um, the other side. One thing that I didn't know about Nick's, because this is my first pair of Nick's, is that they didn't stamp Nick's right here. And I like that stamp. It, for some reason, I don't know. It just, I like it. It's, um, I guess it's a personal choice. I have a stamp on my whites, and I think I take pride in that. Um, I, I'm sorry, it should be on this side. But I called Nick's, and she was, they have good customer service. I, I called them up, and she said, you know, we put them on all our boots, but looking through their website, I don't think she's right. Um, I asked her if, if I ever get around there, um, which I may go to Washington soon. Uh, I go there every once in a while, but if they can just, you know, stamp it when I'm there. And she said, yeah, we can do that. So maybe I'll do that if I'm up there. Um, but I'm not going out of my way. So anyways, six inch 1964 leather, legit. These are so comfy. Um, they're pretty much broken in. There virtually was no breaking process. Just right here is where they need to be a little more broken in, and it's like barely. Um, other than that, these boots are underrated, man. When you receive them, I have I have the Whites uh, Packers, and I love them. They're from 2005. Uh, God, it's like they're brand new, but I paid 700 bucks for them, something like that. They're all custom and everything tricked out, but these right here, I think I paid five sixty. But you get them, and and they're so much lighter, and they're they're just a little, they're just more supple. So you feel like you paid for too much, but then you put them on, and it kind of reminds you about the quality of these shoes and how comfortable they will become or already are, like these ones, um, and the value comes right back to you, right? Made in America, hand stitched. Um, I'm just, I have no regrets. So again, 
Sorry if I repeated myself. Six inch, eight inch. I don't care what it is. This traveling boot's comfortable. All right, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy.